So guys, should you buy a used Nokia 8 in 2020? That's what I am going to answer in this video. This is Andrew and you are watching AirTag and let's jump right into the video. The Nokia 8 is released back in August 2017 along with OnePlus 5. It's almost 3 years now. Let's see how it's hold up in 2020. So guys, first let's talk about the design. The Nokia 8 is built like a tank. It is a compact phone which are rare these days. It has a Type-C charging port in the bottom and a set of stereo speakers. And up top you can find a headphone jack which you can plug your old headphone and hear music. Pretty nifty feature. <coughs> The Nokia 8 has a good looking 5.3 inch 2K IPS LCD panel and it's covered by Gorilla Glass 5 for protection and it has a front mounted fingerprint sensor which is fast and responsive. Now let's talk about software. The Nokia 8 is running pixel like Android 9 with no bloat pair. I don't think it will get any more updates, it's almost 3 years now. Let's move on to battery life. The battery life is good, I can get through a day with moderate usage and it supports quick charge 3.0 which comes in the box. And now let's move on to cameras. The Nokia airports two 13 plus 13 MB main camera, one is RGB and another is monochrome and it also has a 13 MB front camera. And here are some samples from the back camera. You can also take photos and videos from the back camera as well as the front camera at the same time. Here is a sample clip. You can also install Gcam to improve the camera quality. I will leave a link down below. Now let's move on to performance. Nokia 8 is powered by a Snapdragon 835 which is a 10 nanometer processor. It is a flagship processor from 2017. But still, there is no match for this processor in sub 10k price bracket. You can also play PUBG in full graphics. While talking about PUBG, let's play a game. So from where did I bought this phone? I bought this phone from OLX. I will also link it down below. Just install the app, browse, chat and you will find a good deal near you. Meet the dealer in a public place for your safety and buy the phone. It's just that easy. So the conclusion, should you buy a used Nokia 8 in 2020? My answer would be, it depends upon your need. If you are a Nokia fan, if you need a gaming phone and a well-built phone, and you are okay with that old design. 
you can consider buying this. Here are some products before buying a used phone. Check before you buy it. Check whether it have any dent or scratches. If it have any scratches, it's okay. But if it have any dent, stay away from it. Because he might have dropped the phone and it will cause problem in the near future. Then open a white background and check for any black dot or burn in issues. Take your own time, thoroughly check every feature of the mobile and then if you are satisfied, buy it. So guys, that's it for today. If you like the video, consider hitting that bell button. It means a lot to me. See you in the next video. Peace.